In this video, we're going to look at how to connect the Zoom H4n digital audio recorder to a shotgun unidirectional microphone. So just a quick note, unidirectional means that the sound is going to be picked up wherever the tip of the microphone is pointed. That's what unidirectional means. You're going to need a SDHC memory card. You're going to need three AA batteries and one set of headphones with a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. So you're going to start by taking off the back plate and putting your batteries in. And then you're going to put in your SDHC memory card into the slot on the side and make sure it's in properly. Next, we're going to take out our shotgun microphone from our kit. So we have the main microphone here. To put the battery in, you simply twist the bottom and you'll feel it open. And then you're going to insert one AA battery inside. You're going to close it back up and then twist again. Next, you're going to put on the windscreen. So the easiest way to do this is just to twist it in very gently. If you try to force it in too fast, it's not going to go in. So just do it gently. Next, we're going to connect our 25 foot XLR cable. So this is an XLR to six millimeter jack cable. The XLR end is going to go into the microphone. So you'll see that there's the prongs and then the six millimeter jack is going to go into the zoom recorder at the bottom. Put it into channel one and then you're going to put the XLR cable into the mic. You'll see you'll feel a slight pop and you'll feel that it goes in properly. Now we're going to turn on our zoom recorder by holding the power button on the side. So now we're ready to test our input levels. So we're going to plug in our headphones into the side where it says line. And now we're going to prepare the zoom recorder to start recording with this specific microphone. So we're going to go into the menu on the side and we're going to find input and we're going to go into the input settings. We're going to want to make sure that the mono mix is set to on. However, we're also going to make sure that the phantom power is now turned off. So it's different than the condenser podcast microphones because we're using the AA battery inside the shotgun microphone. So now we're ready to start testing the input level. So you're going to press record once and you should start to hear sound. If you don't hear sound coming from the microphone, it may be turned off. So there is a power button on the actual microphone itself. There's a normal and there's also a tele setting. The tele setting is extremely more sensitive. So you're going to want to adjust your input levels if you're using that mic setting. So test both of them and decide which one you like. Just keep in mind that the tele setting is, like I said, a lot more sensitive. So you're going to get a lot more of the room tone in there. So good luck. Now let's look at the proper procedure for disassembling your mic kit. So you're going to start by removing your headphones and placing them somewhere safe. Next, you're going to turn off the zoom recorder by holding the down button until you see the goodbye see you message. Next, you're going to remove the XLR cable. You're going to remove your SDHC memory card. And as always, make sure to remove your batteries from the back as well. Replace the back plate, make sure that it's not damaged or anything. And put the zoom recorder back into its protective case. Next, we're going to gently press on the metal to remove the XLR cable. And we're going again, we're going to twist to take off the windscreen from the microphone. We're going to place everything back into the kit nice and organized and we're going to wrap up our XLR cable. These cables are 25 feet long, so try your best to wrap them up in an organized manner. However, I understand that 25 feet is not always easy to, uh, to wrap up again as if it was the manufacturer, so try your best. 